hello there, humans, hippies, earthlings, whoever you are, wherever you are, whatever you're doing, and whoever you're lucky enough indeed to be doing it to. I'm Bushka, welcome back to the channel. Uh, today I want to talk about the autoloader on the Fosh. It's not going to be a long video because I don't think it's a particularly long subject. I'm going to touch on a couple of things. The, uh, the viability of the gun, uh, the reason that it's being changed and being fazzled around with, and some of the broader concerns that the autoloader brings up. Uh, I was talking with Rolling Storm in the contributor chat the other day, and he really does focus a lot more on the esports side of things than I do and the impacts. So I don't want to go deep into that kind of stuff because for me, the erratic nature of the, the PUBG, of the um, Water Tanks Blitz esports scene, namely the metas, like originally it was 140s and IS7s, and then it changed up to include mouses and TDs and the M48 featured really heavily. And I like that. Uh, so I don't want to get into the pros and cons of that, but this tank certainly does look to have a strong place in the esports arena. Uh, it's a tank that's been buffed and buffed again. And I felt it was strong already. I don't know that it really needed the resources devoted to get an autoloader working. And they tried it with an autoloader way before it was ever released. Uh, and they pulled it because they thought it was too strong. And it's one of the things that, for me, is just too tough to balance. Like, the having a two-shot autoloader is so... It's so difficult because you're basically, on the one hand, looking at it as nearly 1,500 damage, you know? Like, 1,300 damage, basically. Um, in the Fosh's two shells. And so the timing on that and how you rate that to allow for reloads and such is really important. You also, this is this is a tank that will be tremendously more beneficial in Platoon. Um, and I, I think that's one of the things that I really wanted to hammer home. I've got, you know, I wanted to really talk about that before we went any further. The um, clippers in and of themselves are excellent when they can take out an entire tank's hit point pool or what's left of their hit point pool. And if you've got two of these things in platoon or indeed a DPM tank in platoon with the Fosh, then you can do things a lot better. And auto loaders really, really shine when teamwork is involved. It's one of the reasons why they're used so extensively in the uh, in tournaments, and a Fosh as an auto loader with another Fosh means that there is a potential clearing of an enemy heavy in one clip, and that is very, 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 very powerful. It's also one of the reasons why I'm not too worried about the balance because to do that you've got to be in a good team and you've got to be in a team that. Um, both has the tanks and is high on teamwork. And it's just not something that you see a lot of. Or if you've ever played Blitz before, you'd know exactly what I mean. Like quite often, it's hard enough to get people not to yell and scream at each other and leave spawn, let alone to work as a duo and work as a Fosh duo. Now, I thought it was very, very strong without the autoloader. And for that reason, when I played this, it doesn't feel incredibly out of the box broken to me at all. It feels pretty much at the same level as the other the other gun on the Fosh that is not an auto loader, which I already th thought of as a very, very strong contender for best TD in its tier. Like, it's not the best, but it's certainly a very robust entry place, uh, entry into the marketplace. It's a tank that you can use to brawl. It's a tank that you can use to support very, very fast mobile mediums. And it's a tank that can also uh, be used in a sniper role. It's a very, very good tank without adding an auto loader. And sure, that makes for some excellent decisions, but I really feel like the only part of the game where that's going to be real, a real important point is when it's in platoon. Now... There are a lot of new tanks coming in, and I, I get people saying all the time, oh, why don't you go and review some of the older stuff? And it's it's hard to find the time. Like, there are that many new vehicles that are popping along. Tech trees and uh, stuff that's in testing and new premiums at Tier 10 and changes to tanks that we already know about. And I feel like the Fosh is going to be one that I don't want to waste too many more man hours on because it's a strong tank that works 
and it's been strong for quite some time and they buffed it after I didn't like it at the start and it's been gangbusters ever since but I do feel that it's a lot like and I know this is an odd analogy the FE4202 where they gave it Hesh then they took away Hesh and then they gave it Heat and Hesh and they took away Heat and then they gave it a gun that fired Heat and APCR and a gun that fired Hesh and APCR and they fiddled and finoogled and basically it was um, a tank that they just couldn't figure out where the ceiling was incredibly high and the and the floor was incredibly low and the Fosh, if you raise the floor too much on this thing and change anything else about it, it's going to be broke as hell. But at the moment, both the guns seem very good and both of them seem to work very well i hope that uh gave you a little bit of a uh, a clear up on i just wanted to really talk those points through in front of everyone because it's not just numbers with this kind of stuff there's a huge issue in in gameplay and balance and we're seeing wargaming really reach for the stars here and try a lot of different stuff uh the new consumables on the 215b uh new tier 10 premium tanks uh it, it's just new auto loaders the uh auto reloaders like the uh mf the uh m4 fl10 and uh the other one i'm not allowed to talk about and <laughs> it's going to be interesting to see where this all goes i'm bushka thank you so much for watching i know it's only a short video there'll be longer ones coming look after yourselves and stay safe on the battlefield bye for now